In example two, the question reads, at what height above the ground will a body be if it has a mass of 10 kg and a potential energy of 30 joules? At what height above the ground will a body be if it has a mass of 10 kilograms and a potential energy of 30 joules? So we know our PE. PE is equal to 30. Our mass is equal to 10. And then G was given to be 10. But we don't know what H is. That is what we've been asked to find. Now, PE, potential energy. PE is equal to mass times gravity times height. Now we are looking for height, okay? These two are attached to it. They are both multiplying gravity. So we can get rid of them together or we can get rid of them one after the other. And as I said, whatever it is doing or whatever it is doing to cause its attachment to the parameter we want to find, we are going to do the opposite to it. So let's take them away one after the other. Now, mass is multiplying the height. So to get rid of mass, we are going to divide both sides by mass. Division is the opposite of multiplication. So we're going to divide both sides by mass. So this mass goes away. This mass goes away. Now, what are we left with? We are left with... We are left with gravity times height so potential energy over mass is now equal to gravity times height now we want to get rid of gravity so what do we do we divide both sides by gravity now this gravity came to meet the m here they are not going to fight but they are going to multiply themselves in order to accommodate themselves so gravity will take away gravity so eventually, we're going to end up with the formula. Height is equal to potential energy over mass times gravity. So height, H, is equal to potential energy, PE, over mass times gravity. So we can change these and put their values in there. Potential energy is equal to 30. Mass is equal to 10. And then gravity is also equal to 10. So we're going to have 30 divided by 100. And that is going to give us 0 0.3. And since it is height, its value or its units will be meters.